what is happening, people in the land of YouTube. This is Watchton here, doing a guest narration for Headbanging Rudy Colo. Before you ask, no, I haven't got a full swipe kill yet, so he didn't hang himself, but he has a school exam this week. We've all gone through this and we all know that sometimes you need to leave things that you like in order to get through things that you have to do, so let's just keep our fingers crossed for him and take a look at one of his battles. This is a NU battle, as you can tell by looking at the teams against a guy by the name of Hazy. Looking at the teams, they both broke more or less standard and new stuff, with the exception of Subat, which probably got separated from its group and was wandering around PU land until this guy found a use in it. Also, it is worth pointing out that Headbanging Ludicolo decided to take part in this battle himself, so let's see how it went down. So Casper leads with Bastiodon and sets up his rocks because, you know, the most important move of the game, but in exchange he gets crippled for the rest of the game, as his opponent tricks him into Choice Scarf, which is probably the worst item for Bastiodon to carry ever. He decides to keep this thing, switches to Musharna and takes a Volt Switch nicely. His opponent goes to Zwelos, but Slab Hustle Boosted Crunch doesn't even come close to kill and Hidden Power Fighting does almost exact same amount to him. Furthermore, owing to the hustle, the next crunch misses and another HP fighting takes him out, so Mushana takes on opponents at disadvantage. Like a boss. Anyway, back comes Rotom and Headbanging Ludicolo doesn't want to risk a min-max damage variation, so he just switches to Bastion to take a Volt Switch and then goes back to Mushana because Alomomola is the least threatening Pokemon for him and he can easily recover his health. Hazy goes for a Toxic for getting about synchronized, so his big of this gets crippled as well. Then he tries to wish stall a bit, but Psychic does a massive amount and joined with a Toxic damage is going to be a 2 hit KO. So now he goes to Subat, which pretty much walls Psychic HP fighting combo. Casper goes for a hidden power, predicting a double switch, but his opponent sets up a Calm Mind, knowing that Mushana can touch him, and because his Subat has simple ability, that gets him to plus 2 special attack and defense. So now Headbanging Ludicolo switches to Bastiodon, giving him another free Calm Mind, but here is the reason why he decided to keep it even being crippled with Choice Scarf, because he takes a Heat Wave and counters it with Metal Burst, so it's easy enough to finish this ugly bat and send it back to its place in PU. Now for some reason Casper decides to stay in against Eduosion and keeps going for a Metal Burst, allowing him to set up. His opponent gets up to plus 3 and then easily finishes a Bastion with HP fighting. Now in comes Giga Lift, because when in doubt, go for a normal gen boosted explosion like a mouse. and destroy whatever happens to be on the other side of the field, in this case an Among Us. Now he decides to take matters in his own hands and destroys Alomomola with a Giga Drain. Then he sets up a Rain Dance, knowing that he needs a lot of power to break through this duosion, but even with the Rain Up, served at just below half, and now we get to the stolly part of the game. Since his opponent gains a bit of HP with each recover, Surf doesn't score a crit and eventually he switches his move to a Giga Drain, which does next to nothing and on the same turn he goes down to the Psychic, which explains why he can narrate this battle himself under the guise of school exams. Anyway, now he brings his Swellow for a revenge kill, but without Guts activated, the best move he can go for is a U-turn, and it doesn't do much. Thankfully Hazy decides not to recover, and on top of that Corpus survives a Psychic like a mouse. with 11 HP, and with the rain up one more turn, Surf is finally able to finish this thing. So now his opponent is down to his Rotom, so Headbanging Ludicolo decides to go back to Swallow and go for a Brave Bird, because reasons which nobody will understand. So obviously with a resistance it doesn't take him out and he basically gets a free kill. Mushana is the last one standing, or should I say floating on his side of the field and you can see her thinking, God, once again I have to save this guy's butt dodge a blizzard like a and take this fridge out with the move that is actually effective. And that is the game. So good game both of you guys. Lady Luck may have something to do with the result, but I can never find her when I want to, so I couldn't ask about that. Anyway, I hope that you will recover, I mean I hope that you will get through all of your exams. I also hope that you guys enjoyed the battle, in which case don't forget to leave a like or comment. For now, this is Watchton, signing out, peace.